Bow, bow, bow. You already know what it is, man. She man, if I had a fly, tell your mama I said hi. I tell your sister I missed her. Shout out to my brother, Showtime SP. Thank y'all for listening while I'm chefing for you. Make sure you put God first in whatever you do. Let's get right to it, man. It's a lot going on out here. Um, new battle, Big K versus New Jersey Twerk was announced on um, Bags and Bodies, Hitman Hollis Production. I'll talk about that in one second. Shout out to y'all. I do have a box of sodium bicarbonate, also known as bacon soda. Bacon soda, I got bacon soda. Bacon soda, I got bacon soda. You know what I'm saying? It could be used to, uh, for crack cocaine, you know what I mean? When you want to process it, remove the hydrochloride, and then you can cut it down to a product that can be smoked. But I don't want to talk about right there, right now. I will use this box of baking soda for this dope ass battle. Y'all got to add some cut to this car. See, what's going on right now is Hitman is in a position where he sees his card and what he can put out and what put together right now can ultimately be one of the doper cards of 2024. You have Hitman versus Geechee Gotti, then you go ahead and back that up with uh, New Jersey Twerk versus Big K. Hold on, what do you got going on, nigga? Is you bugging? What the hell is going on here? Somebody, somebody needs to find out what's going on over there. I don't know. I, I, we, we, we got our eyes on y'all. Um, let's address the elephant in the room. I seen the um, Eagles game last night. This is what I was talking. Didn't I tell y'all that them niggas in New York was gonna was was definitely going to miss Saquon Barkley not being there? Hmm. Now, for me personally, I'm not one that you know hates. I don't hate on Saquon Barkley. His family's from the Bronx, actually. His, uh, his uncle Iran, boom, 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 used to be a boxer. His dad Ali Bay used to be out there. They from Patterson. They from the Bronx. Like his family is from the X. So that's why it's crazy when I see people going so wild about Saquon. I always want a Bronx nigga to win, even if they're not even on my team anymore. I saw him th scoring three. I said, shit, he might score five. <laughs> because at the end of the day. He, I want to see what's best for him and his fam, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, I really know people that know people that know people that's in that man fam, you know what I'm saying? They've been around the Bronx forever. Like I said, his family still, he probably still got cousins or nephews or somebody in Patterson right now to this day. Shout out to Patterson. You already know what the fuck going on. Now, I'm um, back to it. Um, Big K versus New Jersey Twerk. Now, Big K, I seen what you did versus the URL Avengers in the Tay Rock battle. You know what I'm saying? It's like 50, they had every one of these niggas, you know what I'm saying? You pick you pick one. You pick one, they was there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> them, them, them niggas was there. All in form. Rocks had 20 minute rounds and shit. And somehow, you know, you still got people that feel like you won, you still got people that feel like he won. Um, which is crazy. And you was just standing up there with yourself, a water bottle and Robin Rhymes. Robin Rhymes is not a bad look, shout out to her. But you had no firepower. Nobody was with you. Everything that you had to do was one on one. And Twerk was like, damn near. <laughs> you was doing the most, my nigga. It had Tay Rock Bad. I think it was like, you gotta stop rapping right now. You can rap all you want. We can rap all night, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Shout out to y'all niggas in that battle, but bro, that shit was insane. Rock got his off. Um, Big K got his off. Now, Big K spinning the block again and battling another big headline URL guy. You know what I'm saying? This is another one. They're like, yo, if uh, if Rock ain't go over there and knock the knock his knock his noodle off, we gotta send Twerk over there. Um, what to expect? I will say this. Um, you know, Twerk has had his issues. <laughs> we're, not, we're not gonna act like we don't know. Um, he's had his issues in certain battles. He did run a whole year of last year, which was crazy. Uh, where he had like perfect battles the whole year like he really went through a whole damn near year where he did his thing But then this year, you know, he's had uh, issues in which battles he's had him in but in going into a big K battle I don't um, Foresee many issues because I heard I believe he lives in Atlanta now You know what I'm saying I believe twerk lives in Atlanta anyway, so it's not a thing about flying anywhere or going anywhere then you got uh, He's not taking many battles before it. You know, he's got a uh, uh, Who he got he got uh, 40 bars, right? He does have 40 bars before it, you know what I mean? But besides that, his schedule is not like where he's battling every single week. So he's gonna have the time to prepare and he should show up pretty ready, you know what I'm saying? He had a great battle versus a pass not too long ago. He went crazy on him, 30 to him. And then you got Big K, you know what I'm saying? He's coming into this battle as not only one of the hottest battle rappers, obviously from last year, and now he moves into this year. He hadn't been battling like at a really frequent rate versus super big names this year, but to show up and battle rock, and then now your next battle is New Jersey Twerk. And if he beats New Jersey Twerk, Big K is gonna be talking crazy. He don't never not talk crazy. For Big K never not talks crazy, and res respectfully so. What does he need not for? 
he's he's built his name on RBE built a lot battled a lot of the top people over there now he's battling a lot of the top people on URL and Big K is doing pretty well you know what I'm saying for himself as far as whether it be full circle battles or even battling um on, on different stages and on King of the Dot. He can bounce wherever he wants. He can go here, he can go there, he can go anywhere he wants and continues to flame. And the thing about Big K, there's certain things that you know going into a battle with him. He gonna punch heavy. He punches with angles. That's the one good thing that he does. Whether it's an angle or whether it's a straight punch at you, but he can punch with angles very well. You know what I'm saying? Like smack, like he could, he like if he was battling rock, he could have punched like using, like he rapped about the cake bar, but he could have been like 50 battles and they gave you a cake and that was your boyfriend, get that cake, I heard he gave you a cake. You know what I'm saying? Like he just, like Big K is able to put very, very good strategic patterns of punches together with angles. But the thing about Twerk, Twerk is a high level energy, high energy, high level battler who can overpower with performance damn near anyone. And when he's clicking, when the Sodium bicarbonate. When the, when the stove is clicking and he's on 10, he's very, very, very tough to beat. You know, most battles that people feel like New Jersey Twerk have lost, or if they feel like he lost in his career, is mostly battles that he beat himself. You get what I'm saying. But for the most part, if he shows up with three rounds, it's probably going to be a close battle, or, or he's usually going to win. So when it comes to uh, marketability of this battle, this is a highly marketable battle. You got Big K versus New Jersey Twerk on the card. That's damn near a headline. If Hitman would have had a card without him on it, and it would have been Big K versus New Jersey Twerk, people would still be flocking and clamoring to go to Atlanta to see that battle. I would like to see that battle. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna hold you. If I was in Atlanta, I'm a, if I was in Atlanta, I would go to that event. You know what I'm saying? It's damn near worth looking up tickets and going down there to see that battle because it's gonna be a lot of smoke behind that, you know what I'm saying? And, and then, then, like I said, all things considered, is somebody gonna rap 20 minute rounds versus Big K again? Is it gonna be gas? Is it gonna be the URL Avengers and fucking 15 people behind it? Cause you know Big K, Big K shows up to battles solo though. I've seen him do it before. Now, has he shown up to battle? I seen, I think Mook battle might've been the only battle he came with like a little crew or whatever the case may be. But other than that, Big K be rolling dolo. I seen him come to plenty of battles, Dolo. He came to uh, battle John John on RBE. I was there. He battled him, Dolo. Uh, who else he battled, though? I believe A Ward. He walked in there, Dolo. Yo, he will show up and battle you with no crew, no help, no nothing. Like he he will do that. He's been known to do that. Most other people, you know, they're gonna have everybody around him and shit. You know, two. You ain't shit without your homeboys. Remember, y'all niggas don't remember that. I'm old, y'all niggas. I'm old, but not cold. Um, but so. I think there's a lot of that's considered, that be considered, and then it's in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? I think um, Atlanta's a good crowd in certain perspectives. I've seen, like when the, the, the bigger the room gets, the worse the Atlanta crowd gets. But in small rooms, blue room, uh, well, that was an Atlanta crowd uh, when they had Max out, that was an Atlanta crowd. But the, the, the room is smaller, so it's less people in there. It's maybe 100 people in there over 500. Once you start getting more and more and more people in the room, you got niggas in the back, niggas at the bar, niggas be trying to holler at bras, niggas is smoking, niggas is, it's like, it's very hard to keep it all encapsulated. But the way some of these, like, like how the blue room was, you, the bar and everything was in a totally separate room. So these niggas is rapping somewhere, you had to go out and come back so it wasn't all of that in there. That's more encapsulated. But, uh, I'm sure the venue will be straight. But overall, I think that it's a really good battle. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, um, I, see you. I will be back with SP, you know what I'm saying, once he get back around. Uh, from doing what he's doing, you know, he's out and about, you know, family, kids, Sunday, Saturday type shit. Um, I definitely see, and I didn't want to see that nigga anyway, man, not today. Fucking, say quite like, fucking, what he had, four touchdowns, what do I want to see this nigga today? I don't want to see this nigga, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, shout out to my motherfucking, uh, my motherfucking brother, Silver Time SP, man, but I wouldn't have wanted to see that nigga today. He just gonna rub that shit, what, 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 I didn't want the motherfucker to leave. You think I want to hear you? Like, nah, I ain't got to do that. But now, nah, um, seriously, I am happy for um, Saquon. And he was, SP's my brother, so whenever he wins, I win, but not in that sense, because I ain't getting shit out of that. I'm getting joked on and laughed at, but you know, the L is still living well. We'll put that right there, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll go ahead and accept that for the community. Um, but yeah, uh, Twerk and, um, and fucking Big K is a really good battle. I'm not gonna hold you. That's a very, 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 very good battle. Uh, it all depends on what version, though. 
You know, you come out there, you play. You, the, the thing about Big K, Big K don't really stumble in battles. He don't really slip in battles. He not finna be choking and shit. He not. Hitman, you got some motherfucking. You got some dope, nigga. You got some motherfucking product there. I'm not lying. You might want to cut. You might want to add some cut because you wildin' right now. I knew, because I seen him, man, tweeted earlier, uh, what time do people want the next announcement? I thought the next announcement was going to be, you know, a good battle and shit. You know, rock. You know, a nigga rock on every motherfucking card. I'm like, okay. Nigga, it's rock. Who rock? Rock got clone. Who, you know what I'm saying? Who's rock battling? You know what I'm saying? Rock going to battle one of these niggas. That's what I'm thinking, right? But uh, nah, uh, he, he, he came out with a... Uh, with a, with a pretty, pretty big name card. Big K versus uh, New Jersey Twerk. Uh, I know ARP knew about this shit. He was acting like he was shocked, nigga. You be knowing about all the battles. And ARP like a fucking wizard. If, if anybody gonna know, that nigga gonna know. But uh, Big K versus uh, New Jersey Twerk. Y'all, first of all, y'all let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Can Big K show up solo dolo again and battle the crowd, the Avengers, or uh, everything else that goes along with it? Or... You know what I'm saying? Is this twerk gonna get the best of them? Do y'all think that time? I want all I want to know. Y'all got homework. You niggas got some homework, man. Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna read them and I'm gonna reply to as many as I can. I got homework today, but uh, I'm definitely gonna reply. Uh, I want to know what y'all think. Do you think that the t the round times is gonna matter? Should motherfuckers still be rapping ten minute rounds, or do you think that uh you know it, it it'll be what it is? I think that uh and who gonna win? That's what I want to know. Who you think gonna win? Ah, uh, man, to me it's hella debatable. I just saw the flyer. I think some more, but I want to know who y'all got, you know what I'm saying? Like, who y'all got? And I'll break down, like, the winners and the predictions and shit when SP get around, you know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to put it out there. Hit man, holler, you, you, you. You, you. You got some shit right here, my nigga. Like, it's dope so far, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm not hard to find, you know. I, I still want this nigga on TV, you know what I'm saying? Next, I'm waiting for Hitman. Maybe I, when anybody asks me on the next episode, I'm waiting for Hitman. Tell him that I'm waiting for him. We can talk about this shit on TV. Uh, shout out to him and everything that he's got going on. Uh, you know, I seen all. You know, I still see the noise and I still see the algorithm of him and um and Verb going back and forth, one two one two. And in battle rap, it's like you could you could cover that shit every day. Like, I could record every single verse space and put it up there. I could do all of that shit. But for me, it's just like, ah, it's not really the content that I personally want. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's like certain shit I just don't want on my channel. Like, I'm not going to be putting up pictures of people's family and all. I don't, that's that's beyond the realms of battle rap to me. So, if them niggas is battling, I'll talk about that. But if something important pops up, you know what I'm saying, in there back and forth, I'll talk about that. But every single day, every single space, there's a hundred channels out there. Niggas is uploading every single one. If you want to find, nigga, if you want to find them motherfuckers, they ain't hard to find. But a uh, shout out to every single one of y'all, you know what I'm saying? NFL Sunday uh, is tomorrow. It's a lot of games on and shit. Uh, I will be watching them. College is on today. I will be watching that. And you know, it is what it is, man. But shout out to every single one of y'all out there. You know what the fuck going on? Shout out to motherfucking uh, Philadelphia Eagles, y'all. Y'all niggas uh, showed up in Brazil and that field was horrible yesterday, too, by the fucking way. Don't ever, NFL, never again. I'm out of here. You already know what's going on. <laughs>